Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed. My name is John, I am in my world famous. Sipping Den. Yeah. Down here, I do everything has anything to do with alcohol, and I do a famous Sunday morning coffee review. Pretty cool. I have it all broken down into categories and subcategories on the playlist provided. Check the playlist out that I have. You're going to be shocked, awed, and amazed. It's so damn good. I did it, but I can't even describe it. I'm just going to have to check it out. Uh, in return, the only thing I ask for is a sub. Maybe a comment, thumbs up, anything that keeps the analytics rolling. Keeps me highly motivated, truly dedicated. Uh, first comment of every video. It's always pinned because it has a link to whatever I'm reviewing. In this case, Scotch whiskey, but not just any Scotch. 2022 Diageo special release, and I've been going through them. Throw on the playlist. What one is up for today? Well, wow. the Talisker. Single malt Scotch whiskey, age 11 years, special release, 2022. Luminous spice sweetness surges from storm tossed layers. Lightly peated stocks from ex bourbon casks, first fill. 55.1% alcohol by volume. 110.2 poof. It is a beautiful bottle or uh, canister that's in. Look at it. I'm thinking. Look at that jellyfish. Isn't that cool? And I am thinking of. It's got a story on the back. Cut it right here. Put it in the record frame and frame it because it's gorgeous. It really is gorgeous. All these uh, ones are. And here's the. Uh, Lagavulin. See how pretty that one is? I mean, these things are beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So, let's look at the bottle. Right? There it is again with the jellyfish. Mm -hmm. There's the color. Let's get into it. So the top, Scotland. Very nice. Very, very nice. Special release 2022. Gotta love it, folks. Gotta love it. All right, let's get into it. That's right. You heard it here first, folks. There it is. That did. Hmm? Look at that. Wasn't free. About $130. Something like that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. You know, you get that scotch. Butterscotch. Sweet smell. Some nice fruit coming through, some oak. Oh, so beautiful, so apricot, honeyed. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Kiss of smoke. Kiss of peat. We're going to have to do an acclimation sip, aren't we? But we have to get now for the flavor. Mm. Mm. It does have an oily mouthfeel. I like that. 
little bit smoky, a little bit peaty, <laughs> oh, excuse me, fruity. Oh, it's giving me a cup spicy, all intermingled into perfection. The water. Ooh. It's got a fresh fruit, that apricot, that sweet, sweet apricot, smoke, spice. This thing is so well integrated. Kiss the eye of nine. add a little water to this bad boy let's see what happens Ooh, that butterscotch comes out strong Definitely fresh apricot. When you can get sweet fruit, a little smoke, peat, and nothing drowns out anything else. So this was first fill bourbon casks. You can taste the oak. There's a little splash of tannin. Hmm. Yeah. You can tell there's a bourbon influence in there. Had enough bourbon to know. You can recognize it. Especially at first fill. You just get that bourbon esque flavor mingled in with that malty. I think it brought out the fruit and the apricot, the apricot and the butterscotch more with the water. Or I do. So good. Well, this has been a home run. I will savor this bottle. That I will do. Thank you for being here. This is some good stuff right here. And of course, as always, I'll see you on the next one.